Hello and welcome to my updated 1 to 99 and 120 woodcutting guide. Whenever you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy. For more RuneScape content, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon down below. Here's a list of useful experience boosts you can use for the woodcutting skill to boost your experience per hour. These experience boosts are very important to save time when training, as woodcutting is one of the slower skills. One of the easiest ways to boost your experience per hour all the way up to level 99 is by using the wise perk on an offhand weapon or item you don't usually use. This will allow you to gain up to 50,000 bonus experience per day. When training woodcutting, it's of the utmost importance to level up your tools, being the hatchets, as you go along. A useful trick some players don't know is that if you put a higher tier hatchet in your tool belt, despite not having the level, you'll simply have the highest tier hatchet available to you. So for example, if you have a rune hatchet in your tool belt, yet you're level 31 woodcutting, you'll be using an adamant hatchet automatically. When you get into the mid to high levels of woodcutting and you do have invention unlocked, it's highly recommended to put some invention perks on your hatchet. Currently, the best setup is Hone 6 Furnace 4, however, if you have something like Hone 2 Furnace 1, it's still going to be better than nothing. Woodcutting is one of those skills that has so many useful items, you're going to be overwhelmed. Just know that these items exist, and some are very important to increasing experience power, but shouldn't be awarded to you at the lower to mid levels. Let's quickly go through some of the most important ones. First of which being the Lumberjack outfit, giving you bonus experience in woodcutting up to a total of 5% with the entire set. This outfit can be obtained from the Temple Trekking minigame or from Vic the Trader by trading in your bonus experience. We then have the Sentinel outfits, which are by far the most important outfit to obtain for woodcutting and even keep the Lumberjack's bonus experience effect if owned. The Willow, Maple, and Oaken Sentinel versions will increase your woodcutting success rate by 5% and therefore effectively increase your experience per hour. They also give you a higher chance to obtain burst nests and crystal geodes. Additionally, they provide you with five daily teleports to the base tier of trees ranging up to the magic tree and have an option to automatically burn logs when cut. When you combine the three base outfits, you get an even better version called the Nature's Sentinel outfit, which has even more buffs, including a higher woodcutting success chance, an even higher chance to obtain burst nests and crystal geodes, 20 daily teleports to pretty much any tier of tree you'd want, the option to get fletching or fire making experience from chopping logs, and an option to contact the evil tree to see one is active and even place a mini version of it. This outfit is absolutely insane. Now there's a couple of ways you can obtain these outfit pieces, but the main way you're probably going to get these outfit pieces is by crafting them at level 20 invention and 80 woodcutting. While you do start obtaining fragments at level 70 woodcutting, it's probably going to take you quite some time before you have enough fragments to make yourself a full outfit. We then have the always adds relic power, which burns logs when cut for fire making experience, incredibly useful when chopping regular logs or doing curly roots, as the fire making experience is a nice add on. Thanks to this relic power, you no longer need to use Super Heat 4. We then have Santa's Fire Torch, which is an incredibly strong but somewhat expensive skilling offhand for woodcutting. Woodcutting urns can increase your experience per hour by about 20% and are highly recommended to use when training woodcutting because it's simply so easy to gain more experience from woodcutting urns and they're absolutely worth the money because woodcutting is such a slow skill. You can also get something similar called the Volta Effigy from the Effigy Incubator D&D, which provides an experience lamp instead of being automatically teleported for an experience drop. I'd say the auras speak for themselves, but the perfect juju woodcutting potion is something I want to highlight because it gives you a 5% chance of getting two logs at once when woodcutting, and you do get double experience for that log. So that's just an experience buff you can use, and one tip lasts an hour. Very useful. Most of the other stuff is also fairly straightforward. I will be highlighting a couple things in the methods themselves. Skill chompers are something you can use to gain more experience as they also give you XP when you don't successfully cut a log, and they are just really a massive experience per hour boost. That being said, they're quite expensive and should only be used if you really want to train as fast as possible. Crystallize and light form will be highlighted in the section where they're actually relevant, so don't worry about that. There's a couple of instant sticks you can use to either make woodcutting a little bit more FK or increase the amount of logs you get. There's a Dwarven Chain Axe which you can get from Treasure Hunter which has either a double experience, no resources, or double resources, no experience mode, which can be useful for probably the experience mode. If you are going for 20 woodcutting, you might want to invest in the Brute of the Gods and the Grace of the Elves. One allows you to store urns and spawn spirits from invention components. The other allows you to store inside of the porter charges, which are useful items for woodcutting anyway, as they allow you to auto bank logs or items you're collecting. It also allows you to teleport to a couple of skilling locations, including the active crystal tree if you have the max garden portal set to that, and spawn seren spirits, which you can collect for a little bit of loot. So those are the useful items summarized in a couple of minutes. Here's a list of quests that will give you woodcutting experience once completed. With that being said, let's get into actually trading the skill itself. From levels 1 to 15 woodcutting, you're going to be chopping regular logs, which can be found all around Gilanor. While there are many good spots for regular trees, one easily accessible spot just south of the Grand Exchange in Varrock has the benefit of trees being clustered up, a nearby bank, and will be used for the next leveling section as well. 
You can choose to bank your logs, drop them, or simply burn them for fire making experience on the spot. In case you are a brand new account, burning them on the spot is a good idea to level both skills simultaneously. From levels 15 to 30 woodcutting, you're going to be chopping oak trees which have a nice spot with three spawns close to a bank south of the Grand Exchange in Varrock. Oak trees are slightly better experience per hour than regular trees and require much less action and therefore are less intensive as you can gain many logs from a single oak without having to move around. When leveling here, don't forget to upgrade your hatchet as at level 21 woodcutting you can use a mithril hatchet. Your next stop in your woodcutting journey will be Draenor as you're going to be chopping willow logs from level 30 to 35 woodcutting. If you'd like to bank your logs, the bank is quite literally right next to the trees so that won't be an issue. Next, we're going to be chopping teak trees in the hardwood grove on Karamja Island from levels 35 to 47 woodcutting. Now if you've never been here before and you don't have the lodestone activated to get here, you're going to need to go from Port Sarim to Karamja with the boat, then walk past the volcano, go through the gate, and then walk all the way around, activate the lodestone of course, and then go to the hardwood grove. To get inside, you're going to need to have 100 trading sticks, which you can simply buy in the Grand Exchange. If you're an Iron Man, go ahead and mine yourself some gem rocks and sell those to the Gabuti NPC to get your trading sticks that way. But yeah, teak trees are amazing experience per hour from levels 35 to 47 woodcutting. The next method is going to be Acadia trees in the Imperial District of Menafos. Now, Menafos is a city you're going to need to unlock by completing the Jack of Spades quest, which requires the Diamond in the Rough and Stolen Hearts quests. These quests won't take very long to complete, and once you do have Menafos, you're going to have a bunch of mid-level training methods that are going to be very useful to your account. Now, the experience per hour you can expect here is around 50 to 80,000 experience per hour between these level ranges, and the experience per hour highly depends on your woodcutting level, the boosts, your hatchet, and your reputation. In Menafos, you gain reputation by skilling and doing stuff like saw obelisks, and if you set it to the Imperial District, once you get to certain tiers, you'll unlock stuff like a portable bank box, and eventually a skilling boost as well. Now you're going to be doing Acadia logs up to level 68, 80 or 81 depending on what you want to do. If you want to AFK without needing to drop logs or burn them, at level 68 you can do Ivy. And when I say AFK, I really mean AFK, as Ivy is one of the most afk -able woodcutting training methods in the game. Now sometimes, the Ivy will last for a couple of experience drops, but sometimes you can sit here chopping these for like 3-4 to four minutes. Ivy is what I would like to call click and forget woodcutting training, and if that's your thing, then you should absolutely be doing Ivy. Now if you'd like to continue this kind of training method all the way up to level 99, you're going to need to level to 81 for overgrown idols, Otherwise, you want to put in a little bit more effort for more experience, level to 80 for crystallized Acadias. From levels 80 all the way up to level 99 or even 120 woodcutting, you can do crystallized Acadia trees for the best woodcutting experience in the game. It does, however, have high requirements, being the Light Within quest, 88 magic, and 80 prayer to do properly, because you're going to be using the crystallized spell on the tree every 30 seconds, which will give you 50% more experience from each log, but will not actually provide you those logs. And what the Lightform Prayer does is it enhances this effect and gives you 87.5% more experience from woodcutting Acadia trees, but you're still not getting any resources. Now, Crystallize needs to be cast every 30 seconds and is indicated by the blue bar slowly depleting on the tree, and once it's completely gone, Crystallize is no longer active. Now, it is worth noting that this method is going to be a little bit costly, as every time you cast Crystallize, you're going to be using a couple of runes, including six soul runes every single time, and you're also draining your prayer, so chances are you're going to need some prayer potions or prayer renewals, or maybe a grace of the elves, to do this method properly. But you will be rewarded for putting in the effort and GP because this is the best woodcutting experience in the game. Now, if you don't like spending money or training actively and just want to fully AFK without too many worries, then the next training method being Overgrown Idols from levels 81 to 94 woodcutting is going to be your method. Now, Overgrown Idols can be found on both Anachronia and on Karamja, although I would say that getting to the ones on Karamja is a little bit easier. A couple ways of getting there are listed on screen now. Now, it is worth pointing out that the Max Garden Portal doesn't actually require you to be maxed. It does require you to have at least a level 99 and Prif to be unlocked. Now, Overgrown Idols are a very AFK way of training woodcutting that will give you 90 to 120,000 experience per hour. Now, if you manage to clear vines around the head and you do the head of the middle itself, you can get the following woodcutting boost for up to 50 minutes. Before we get to the level 94 section, I want to give a brief mention to chopping timber fungus in the Croesus front. This method is just bad. Very, 
very bad experience. The only reason you'd want to be doing this method is for the Elder Trolls tier 3 of the big type to make some AFK money. Other than that, this method is just terrible experience. At level 94 woodcutting, you can chop crystal trees, which are trees that change location every two hours. You can teleport to an active tree using the Max Garden portals, or you can simply find them by right-clicking the inactive ones and using the directions to find them next. These trees are very good AFK experience per hour, and with boost will get you up to 240,000 experience per hour or more, depending on how many of those you have. In fact, crystal trees are the best experience per hour AFK you can get all the way up to level 120 without needing to hop island on the arc, which is the next training method. Golden Bamboo. Golden Bamboo can be done at level 96 woodcutting after completing the Impressing the Locals mini quest and finding an island on the arc with Golden Bamboo as a resource. While the base experience per hour is better than Crystal Trees, Golden Bamboo is a little bit more limited and therefore a little bit more inconsistent as you can only gather so much per island on the arc before you need to hop to another using more supplies. You can keep island hopping if you have chimes to buy supplies with which you can get by selling resources you collect like the Golden Bamboo or completing contracts like fletching the bamboo into bundles. Now let's cover some other methods of how to train woodcutting and no, elder trees are not worth your time. They don't give you much money and they don't give you much experience. If your clan has a clan citadel, chances are they have a woodcutting plot because it's a level 1 citadel plot. This plot can give you about 90,000 woodcutting experience per hour at level 99 without boosts, which isn't really good, but if you're going to be capping anyway and you want woodcutting experience, this is the way to go. If you'd like to cap extra quickly, be sure to change the avatar control stone to resource buff bonus instead of the experience bonus, and once you've capped, change it back to the experience bonus to enjoy that sweet clan cap boost. Another good way of getting a lot of woodcutting experience in a short period of time is creating divine trees using the divination skill. The best divine tree you can make is the yew tree giving the best experience for your resource cap. That cap can be increased using Vizwax, having a higher total level, and using auras like Majorat or the Desert Pantheon aura. You can gain more experience from divine locations by having other players harvest from your location at the same time in busy locations like the Grand Exchange or World 84 Combat Academy. The shared knowledge engram from the Memorial to Guthix gives you 125% more experience at the loss of getting items from divine locations. While not the best experience, doing the Croesus boss at the higher levels of woodcutting, let's say 80 plus, is a good way of making money because the boss drops a bunch of stuff, including Crypt Bloom armor pieces. If you want a guide for Croesus, check out my guide linked in the description below. While only about 60,000 woodcutting experience per hour, you can gain up to 600,000 fire making experience per hour by chopping curly roots in the Jodinko layer. You do need the always adds relic power for this, and it's a very click intensive method, but if you want to train woodcutting and fire making at the same time, this is the best fire making experience per hour when joining woodcutting. The Evil Tree Distraction and Diversion is another way of getting woodcutting experience which I won't be getting into because I'm only going to be covering the modernized version of it. I personally never did these and never bothered with them and just kept on AFK woodcutting, but if you're interested, I'll be sure to leave a guide linked in the description below. The final brief mention of a woodcutting training method in this guide is the Evil Tree Special Wilderness Flash event. This event can give you up to 62,000 experience at level 99 for a couple of minutes of work, and not only that, but it gives you loot that will make you money and sometimes even big money if you get lucky. Wilderness Flash events are different every single hour, but if you happen to catch the Evil Tree Will Sprout Soon message, head west of the Wilderness Lodestone to the Gravestone and get ready for the Evil Tree event. With that being said, we've come to the end of this 1-99 and 120 woodcutting guide. If you found this guide helpful, be sure to drop a like down below and maybe consider subscribing, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.